Hi, I'm Toby Ryan. In this video, I'll show you how to install third-party plugins and where to enable them in GarageBand 2019. Let's roll. Okay, what plugins do we need? They are called audio units, also abbreviated as AU for short. They have to be 64-bit. The file extension looks like this, .component. Knowing these few keywords will help you narrow the internet search of plugins that actually work. GarageBand uses two types of audio units. The first is an instrument, synthesizers and samplers, things like that. These need MIDI. The second type of audio unit is an effect. All right, let's start by enabling these audio units in GarageBand. Open an empty project, select GarageBand menu, and then preferences. Click audio MIDI and enable audio units here. Close this window now and quit GarageBand. Now we can install the plugin file. There are a few types of files you'll likely download after searching around the internet. First is the .component file. This is the actual plugin. Next is the package file, which installs that component file for you. Then a DMG, which can be either of those first two options. Let's start by installing the .component file so you know where to go to install or drag to the trash if you don't like them. Open a finder window and select the system hard disk, often named Macintosh HD. If it's not in the sidebar, go to the finder menu up top, select preferences, click sidebar, add a check mark here, and then you'll see it appear in the sidebar. Select the hard disk and navigate through library, audio, plugins, and then components. If you don't have this view, you can change it here. This components folder is where we'll drag and drop the component file into. To do this, press keyboard shortcut Command N to open a second finder window. Move them side by side to drag and drop between them. Select downloads and then click and drag the component file into the components folder. Done, now it's installed. The next example is the package file. If you encounter this one, double click and it installs the plugin for you through its own easy to use interface. Keep in mind, you might run into a rare issue with the package file where this dialog pops up. This means the developers didn't certify the package as an authentic installer. macOS knows this and keeps your Mac safe. What do we do if we know the package is safe and still want to install? Right click on the package file and select open. The dialog now changes and gives us an option to bypass the security and install the plugin. The last step is to restart your Mac. macOS requires a restart for audio units. This forces a system scan so that it finds these new audio units. You have to restart anytime you add a new one. So add as many as you want first, then restart to save yourself some time. Now open GarageBand, start up an empty project and select software instrument. Click the smart controls button at the top, select the track button and then expand the plugin area. This section is where you'll add an AU instrument, select the menu, AU instruments, the developer name and choose stereo or mono. The second area is where to add AU effects. There are plenty of built-in effects that come with GarageBand. To load your own, select audio units at the very bottom of the menu. And that's it. Now you know which plugins to get, where to enable them, and how to install them in GarageBand. There are a ton of free and paid plugins out there, so I encourage you to explore, have fun, and find the music in you. Thanks for watching.